All right, so um, this is my book. This is, uh, you know, like a version of it, of the cover that I'm going to probably, I'm probably not going to do more of the of this type of cover. So I got them printed through Amazon and this one, it has, it, they put these big squares on here because it's supposed to be where the author section and the about section are but I didn't put anything for those sections but I didn't realize it would still put these big gray squares on them um, but anyway I just wanted to do a video about um, the fact that a lot of the ancient borders in America are the same as the current borders and um, and especially similar to some of the like historic borders like uh, early modern like 1800s or 1700s uh, borders so let's see like in the original oldest maps like these this one is from you know, the 5,500 year old one doesn't really have borders that I know of. I'm not sure if it really has sections. I mean, it might, but, or it probably does. I don't know, but um, since there's no hieroglyphs, there, you know, hieroglyphs hadn't, I guess, been invented at that time. So we don't know exactly. Uh, what's what there but um but and even this one i don't know if this one has sections or not but in the book of two ways maps like this one on the front this is the 5500 year old hierocompolitan map from tomb 100 at hierocompolis and then this one is one of the books of two ways which are 4,000 uh, 4, year old tradition that has a lot of different examples um, and let's see. so here's the oldest book of two ways um, that has a physical map painted in it this is the oldest one we know of uh, this is about 4,000 years old, the coffin of Jehudi Nacht. Um, this is General Seppi, whose map is uh, the is arguably the best map, or in a way it's the best map because it actually paints these underworld uh, guardians, you know, the so-called hell demons, it actually paints them on instead of just, whereas all, most of the other versions just uh, just write their names. They don't actually paint them on the map. Um, so anyway, here you can see uh, part of the map. This is uh, Greenland here, and this is Baffin Island. This is the Great Lakes, um, and there is, yeah, like Newfoundland is down here, but you can't really see because it's really faded. Um, it's, all right, so this is a pretty good one. So like all these guys are, you know, they're usually called demons, you know, the demons of hell, the underworld demons, but really they're not, I mean, they're really not. Well, I mean, they are, but they're not. I mean, demon just is the same word as, demon just means a spirit, actually, the, the real word demon. I mean, in modern usage, it, it means something negative, but the actual original word doesn't have any negative connotation at all. So 
being a demon is not, you know, or, or daemon or whatnot. It's not anything bad. But um, but all these underworld, I mean, they, they are demons. They're gods. They're spirits. Um, the most accurate name for them perhaps would be Ka, because I think they're considered to be Ka's, which is a certain type of spirit. Um, so each one represents like a separate, uh, at least the ones alongside the coast, they all represent like a, a separate district of America, of, of hell. And, um, so each gatekeeper, like this gatekeeper, Baffin Island, it guards this gate, this I mean, I think this is all one, more or less one gateway or one district of, of hell, of America. And um, so, so this is the guardian of this gateway. And so this is different in the sense that Baffin Island is not uh, politically, it's no longer, it's not politically part of the same unit as you know political unit as greenland right now but in but at least in the sense that greenland is its own separate country this is still accurate um i'm not sure who controls baffin island i guess probably canada or somebody <laughs> and um <clears throat> so this is uh, the Alaskan Peninsula, which, um, you know, is the guardian of basically Canada. And so this, this is, doesn't work really anymore because of the fact that the U S bought Alaska. So that, so that throws everything off. But if you pretend that Alaska was like part of British North America or whatever, then this would basically work and pro you know probably at some point at least alaska was claimed by britain i'm guessing because they tended to claim everything so at a, some point in time this was the modern uh you know this was accurate in you know even in under modern european uh rule um then uh like and on the east coast the east coast guardian of canada is newfoundland here it's you can see it's shaped like a rabbit so they depict it as a rabbit so it guards like points north of here and so all the guardians all the um gatekeepers on the east coast they're all south of the um the gates they guard. I mean, the only difference you could say maybe here, um, Baffin is not really south of Greenland, but in general, like it's assuming a northerly um, direction of um, sailing. You know, like the that's what the main meaning of these gatekeepers. Um. You know, like in 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 movies and stuff, like the gatekeepers of the netherworld or of hell or whatever it is, of the fairyland, you know, like fairyland, this is also the fairyland. Um, it's the netherworld, the other world, the underworld, etc. Hades, uh, Hesperides. Um, so in a lot of the traditions, it's like, you know, you the gatekeeper will like ask you a riddle or you have to battle them to get into the gate or something. But in reality, what the gatekeepers were is they're just guarding the coastline from uh, the sea. So all you have to do is you just have to know where they are so that you don't get caught up. You know, like if you're trying to, if you're sailing along this coast then and you're trying to get to Canada you don't want to get caught up in um, Newfoundland because Newfoundland is right there on the coast 
and it's going to obstruct your passage if you don't realize it's there. So that's what a gatekeeper is. Um, so again, this is roughly the same uh, border, you know, like, because this, I mean, I don't know if it quite, it doesn't exactly, um, it's not exactly clear where this is, but at least to say that Newfoundland marks the border between the U.S. and Canada um, is, is uh, you know, it's the, it's at least this, the correct locale, like the general location of the border. Um, and then on uh, the border between the U.S. and Canada on this side, um, well, it doesn't show it here, but it's actually this. It's, uh, it's, you know, on the maps, on this map, for instance, it's, it only has the text right there. It doesn't, it's too small to actually paint it on because this is like one of the smallest, uh, gatekeepers in America. But this is, um, Vancouver Island is the gatekeeper for the United States. And, and then Baja California here is the gatekeeper for Northern Mexico. And, um, so that's almost the modern borders because you can see here, this is the modern border line between Mexico and Canada, and it's right at Vancouver Island. So whereas originally maybe it might have gone just above Vancouver Island or just north of it, um, if, if the gatekeeper is to be considered part of the gateway that they keep, but, you know, I guess that's a separate question. Um, and then here again is the southern border of the U.S. And again, it's basically in the exact same place uh, where it was in this map. Because in this map, it's Baja, California, which marks the new district. So that district being northern Mexico. Um it does seem to kind of treat Western Mexico um, it's not clear if Western Mexico here is included as with Northern Mexico as being guarded by Baja or if this is considered to be a separate district uh, but there's certainly no clear gatekeeper for this district so it may may um be included um so the ones that are like all these guardians that are inside these are also gatekeepers but they're not um they're a different type of gatekeeper they're basically like wa waterways so they all they really guard, they basically guard themselves or they guard their surrounding areas, but, uh, but they're separate from these overall gatekeepers who guard the entire district, I believe. You know, like this is uh, the Rio Grande de Santiago. This is Lake Chapala. This is uh, Rio Bravo. This is the Great Lakes deity with the uh, copper mines uh, circled on Lake Superior and Il Royale. Um, and yeah, this is Cuba and Hispaniola. So it's not clear if Cuba and Hispaniola are considered gatekeepers in the same way. Um, let's see. So here's another one that again is, I guess this is, this might be the second smallest uh, gatekeeper. So um, this is the one uh, shown right here. And uh, so this is marks the border between this marks 
what was the southern border of the U.S. And, or, you know, the equivalent of the southern border of the district, which is largely, mostly overlaps with the U.S. Um, so it seems to be that his tail and back, you know, hind legs and tail included uh, the, you know, included parts of the Carolinas. So in that sense, you know, since during the 1700s, or at least parts of the 1700s, uh, Florida was a separate country from the U.S., um, then that was accurate at that time. Until, until you know, Andrew Jackson or whoever annexed Florida, um, you know, the, the borders were relatively historically accurate. Um, so here we can see, you know, that's the dagger that he's like holding, it's pointing down is the eastern shore of the Chesapeake. And, but it seems that his, his hind legs and stuff includes North Carolina here, at least. Um, you know, because this is North Carolina. Um, and here's the text for it. So here, like on this version, they actually painted it because they had no room there. So they just painted it right on Florida. This is basically Florida, even though it's wider than Florida should be. Um but they didn't have any room there. And I'm not sure if they knew exact who they might not have known exactly where it was in relation to Florida. But anyway, this is uh that deity. Um you know, so and then this is the original painting of him. Um this is, again, uh, Newfoundland. So the border between, like I think right now, the this is the border between the U.S. and Canada. Is, you know, the U.S. is gold or yellow and Canada is whatever that color is. So, um, so to say that this was the border between them at that time, it's still almost the border between them. I mean, it's other than this part. That's the only difference is that this, this part here is now part of Canada, whereas uh, 4,000 years ago it was considered to be part of, you know, the U.S. basically. Um, so, yeah, there's uh, Rio Grande de Santiago. And these are some rivers that may be represented by this uh, deity here. Um, so, and then there's another deity that's listed on the Yucatan Peninsula. Um, but he's... But... Let's see. I mean, there's even a chance that this is what is depicted uh, with this um, with this deity. You know, if th this deity is either those rivers, it's either these uh, rivers right here. Or this deity is actually this, um, the one that's mentioned in the Yucatan Peninsula. Yucatan Peninsula is like southern Mexico, uh, juts, you know, pretty far east into the uh, Caribbean. And, um, you know, it's full of jungle. It's the one of the heartlands of the Maya. And, um, but 
on its like on this peninsula in in the ancient maps it says that the the gatekeeper of this coastline um is called the uh the protector of the two gods i think and but it doesn't doesn't give a depiction you know like it's not clear took this is the last underworld god that i actually identified because it was very difficult to identify but eventually i figured out it can only be this this is like a a kind of headland that juts off to the south of um on the uh, eastern side of the yucatan on the along the um Costa Costa Maya and it used to um, terminate here with what is now called uh, the Ambergris Key but is now separate because the uh, the Mayans made a built a canal right here so originally this was all like part of the same peninsula basically and so that was the um the gatekeeper of mexico um and but again just what's fascinating to me about this is that that was this was the border between mexico and belize at that time and it still is today so you know it's like just uncanny how often the ancient, you know, 4,000 year old borders and probably older um, are still the current day borders, either identical or uh, very close to it. Um, so this is the guardian because if you're sailing up, um, you know, it protects the two gods. So I think the two gods are Cuba and uh you know, Cuba and Hispaniola, you can see Hispaniola here, but um, because if you're sailing along the coast and you're trying to get to Cuba, you're going to be sailing up here, you know, you're going to be sailing up here and you can get caught here and you'll be stuck. And if you go under here, you'll be in here and you will not be able to find Cuba. So it protects the two gods being Cuba and Hispaniola. Um, so it's just I, I just find that fascinating that there's still the same borders. So I'm not sure if that's just because you know, if that has anything to do with like people actually knowing that those were the ancient borders or um or if it's just that the um it's just that those are the the natural the most natural borders and so just as they seem to be the natural borders four thousand years ago they still seem to be the natural borders um so and then it's not really clear in eastern south america like it's clear that the falklands islands or the or the falkland islands are the guardian of um they're the gatekeeper of uh, either south america like the east the eastern gatekeeper of all of south america or at least part of it but it could be all of it um so let's see So here is uh yeah, this is Baja California and it's lower road because since west is up in the ancient maps its lower road is is the Gulf of California and it says on the map like don't go in there it says do not go in its lower road because even nowadays it's very difficult to sail 
you know, like a lot of people avoid the Gulf of California for sailing. Um, so then the other one that I found really, uh, really um, interesting in this sense is, well, maybe even here. Well, here you can kind of see. Here is where um, there's the text for the Guardian of South America, or at least South America south of there. Um, you know, this is north. North is right. South is left. Uh, down is east. Up is, is west. Um, you know, that's how it was. That's at least the, the direction of the writing. You know, here's that same writing. So the writing, it indicates by the writing where this deity is, where this gatekeeper is located. So, um, so it's clear that he's uh, this. I mean, this, I think I labeled this kind of weirdly because I just put Punya Island. But that's basically this island right here. Uh, it's right here, Isla, uh, or Isla Puna, uh, or no, not Isla Puna, Isla Pun Puna, um, something like that. It is like basically the biggest island on the um, on the west coast of south america so it's natural that it's the um it's the gatekeeper i think it's called the one who steals or something or guardian of the gateway who gains through robbery so i think that has something to do with the way that it's situated here that it's seen that it's either capturing it's either the island is like captured by this kind of bay or maybe this part here it's seen that it's like robbing you know capturing that little part it's really hard to know like the names of a lot of these gods uh, because um, it seems like they go through a lot of different permutations or sometimes it'll have a name that will be uh, referencing one kind of animal, but then it will be painted as another animal. So, <laughs> so yeah, it's hard to know about the names. But but again, you can see that here, this, you know, this um, shows green. In green is um, Ecuador. And in, I guess it's kind of purple or something, is um, Peru. So not only is this still today the current border between Peru and Ecuador, not only is it today also at basically at the same island, uh, Isla Puna, but it seems that that Peru might actually claim that island, and so in that sense maybe that was, you know, if the gatekeeper belongs to the gate they keep then that would make sense um so you know something to think about because i mean the only the only clear borders that there are in these ancient maps are um you know this border which separates greenland from canada um, this border, the Vancouver border, which separates Canada from the U.S., the the Newfoundland border separating Canada from the U.S., Baja separating Canada from Mexico, and the Chesapeake area separating the U.S. from Mexico, basically, when Florida was maybe considered to be part of me 